throughput in the most fundamental terminology in ecological economics refers to low entropy inputs in the economic production process. And, uh, and in ecological economics, it, in fact, it's one of the uh, basic distinctions in ecological economics is that the word production itself is almost is a, a bit of a misnomer because it's not based upon the first law of thermodynamics. Nothing is really being produced from scratch. You know, uh, materials from the environment are being transformed into consumer goods and services and manufactured capital and and funds that you know for services and back into waste into the environment and then back yeah so that's the tailpipe of your throughput uh, uh, the throughput with the throughput metaphor you've got uh, the inputs of low entropy and in the intermediate range the consumer goods uh, that, that come out and then uh, meanwhile though you still have a tailpipe with uh, you know the high entropy uh, dissipated waste, energy, and materials. Throughput can be divided into its various components uh, pertaining to different sectors and so forth, but it, throughput in ecologically macroeconomic terms, I would argue, uh, is well uh, indicated simply by GDP, uh, you know, because uh, GDP is a good indicator of the size of the scale of the economy. Uh, and uh, and there there's we see more data on this uh, coming out uh, you know very tight linkage of energy use for example and GDP uh, very tight uh, correlation between number of threatened and endangered species and GDP now obviously you know you correlation does not prove causality we all know that but on the other hand you, you'd have to be uh, illogical do not recognize that correlation can be circumstantial, at least, evidence for, uh, you know, relationships. And when you couple uh, a correlation with a great deal of theoretical evidence, like, for example, in, in economic growth and biodiversity, the principles of competitive exclusion and niche breadth and carrying capacity, all the principles that establish a trade-off between increasing size of human economy and size of uh, the economy of nature, uh, you know, then you see there, there are theoretical grounds for that empirical correlation between GDP and endangered species.